Hi everyone, so here is this app called SimKit Widgets and Icon Themes. It's, it's climbing into the top charts in graphics and design categories. So let's just do a quick preview how it might work. It's, it's getting 4,000 ratings, 4.6 average rating. Uh, it's made by Woohoo Studios. Um, so here you can just see it. Express yourself by customizing your home and lock screen with tons of themes, widget icons and wallpapers. Only take a few steps to personalize your device as you like. Uh, and then uh, there are uh, a wallpaper for iOS 16 and Dynamic Island as well. Uh, so there you have it. Um, so yeah, that's basically the idea. Uh, um, so here you can just see it, how it looks like. Um, yeah, so let's just open it up. There are so many, uh, so many apps like this these days. If you just go to the app store, just hundreds of apps. Everyone wants to customize their phone because some for some people all these standard wallpapers and app icons are so boring. Um, so yeah, here instantly you get the best offer lifetime deal. Yet, like you decide. I guess if you really like uh, to customize your phone, you will definitely need to upgrade one day. But be before doing that, I will just recommend you to uh, check out a few of these apps and select which app you really want to use and then upgrade in one of them. So here you can just take a look in this video what this app is offering you. So here you have some themes, uh, wallpapers, uh, widgets. And yeah, so basically um, uh, what are themes? Themes are a combination of wallpaper, icon and widget. And I would definitely recommend you to start with this theme because uh, it's everything in a one color style, one color scheme, and it's just easier for you if you're a beginner. You don't want to spend like three days to design in your own home screen theme for iPhone. Of course, you can do it if you really enjoy the process. But here you just have this like, this is what your home screen can look like. This is icons, widgets. Widgets are these bigger screens in the top part, uh, which you can see here. Uh, so yeah, and then you can just see some newer ones. Um, so for example, you can just tap to download. Uh, 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 you can see how to install icons. Um, so here you have wallpapers, you can just tap save. Widgets, you can tap save and icons. Like I have a lot of apps, as you can see, I'm doing this app overuse. I have like all the different apps, but of course, uh, not all of these apps will have like, you know, default, uh, customized icon, like Snapchat, camera icon, you know, Facebook messenger will have that probably, but if some smaller app won't have, uh, already designed customized icon for this, uh, for this theme. So then. Yeah, then you just need to do it yourself or just avoid these apps or just keep them on the on the fourth screen where they are not customized. So then, yeah, you have all these like app icons and then you can just tap uh, install them. Um, uh, it's a bit like, you know, cumbersome process with icons uh, if you didn't use it before. Um, Yeah, okay, so in this app, it's, it's another way. So you just need to download icons and then, uh, uh, yeah, uh, set it up as a configuration profile here. And then in settings, you will see profile downloaded and then just tap install. And then automatically your app will be, your icons will be installed to, to this device. So that's basically, yeah, how it works. Um, because in some other apps you need to uh, yeah to really uh, like go to shortcuts app and install app icon but by app icon it can be pretty complicated for people who didn't use shortcuts app before and so I really prefer when there is an option to do stuff like here so here you can just install that um, 
then you have all this wallpaper some of them have this dabs effect meaning that uh, kind of the as you can see like the dabs effect means that uh, for example our is just behind the a cat's ear so it feels like the yes there is some depth to it and like 3d magic and stuff like that so here you can just discover all of it uh, so there is like dynamic island wallpaper so uh, dynamic island wallpaper means that it calculates that there will be this dynamic island in the top as you can see here it's not visible because this is iphone 7 but yeah uh, this is uh, you have this dynamic island wallpapers already for newer phones for like iphone 14 or 14 pro uh, so yeah there you have it then you just have widgets widgets also are available just on the home screen so you need to have ios 14 for that or you have uh, like a lock screen widget and lock screen widgets uh, yeah, should be available uh, yeah, on the iOS 16 and later where you should be able to install all this like amazing lock screen widgets which are just available on your lock screen. Uh, when you lock your phone and you can instantly see for example calendar, you can see some quotes, you can see some battery percentage you can see some countdown some like uh, all of that and then uh, yeah then you can just go ahead and create your own do it yourself themes so here you can just you know design your wallpaper you can create your own wallpaper you can uh, uh, select color and actually in this app seems it's pretty cool it's pretty easier customizer so here you can create your own widget so yeah this app is also cool uh, that you can do it yourself and just customize all these widgets and icons and make them completely unique so that's actually pretty pretty cool so try try that out as well um yeah other than that that's basically the idea of the app definitely give it a try it's getting more and more reviews it's pretty cool um, uh, yeah of course then you will just need to upgrade uh, if you want to use some premium themes and uh, get all content and without ads so lifetime 1999 I think actually that lifetime deal is pretty good uh, if you have lifetime deal and then you are not charged every year or every month that I think you can go for it but anyhow, that's the idea. Hope it was helpful.